Hi everyone. Uh, I was asked to make a more precise video of the uh, controls of this helicopter, Airbus H145. And I work in, here in Rovaniemi, Finnish Lapland, and in Finham's company with this helicopter. And I also uh, fly the simulator version of this made by uh, High Performance Group. And that's an awesome, awesome one helicopter. But hey, uh, I'm a co-pilot here. We have uh, identic uh, controls here in this helicopter. So I will tell you all the buttons here in, in the cyclic and in the collective. Uh, let's start from the cyclic. So uh, in here we have trim release button in here. Uh, uh, it uh, releases the trim so that uh, the forces are well. Everybody that knows the uh, trim release knows what does, what this does. Uh, if we are flying manually, uh, you can press this trim button and uh, steer somewhere and release it, and the uh, stick position leaves to that position. <coughs> yep, and then. We have a reset button here. It's uh, the button where we uh, acknowledge all the messages which uh, come here to the master list and same uh, can be done from this button. So this was the reset or acknowledge button. All autopilot upper mode off. Uh, let's begin from the autopilot on. From this button uh, you can press left and right to engage the autopilot on number one and number two. And in in case of uh, disorientation or if we just want to put uh, all the upper modes on, we make double click uh, to uh, front position or from uh, front direction and the helicopter autopilot engages uh, altitude, heading and indicated airspeed. From this one, um, or two movements, and it's called like panic button. And then we have TAVs, mute, terrain, avoid avoidance warning system. Uh, when we arrive, congested, congested uh, landing area, uh, we get warning uh, about the uh, terrain. So we can mute the eight TAVs from this button, pressing about one or two seconds. And then uh, we have autopilot TTC button here. If we press it once, uh, we get uh, the uh, TTC uh, upper mode on in the autopilot, which means that the helicopter uh, keeps the heading for us. Uh, uh, it's useful, useful for example, uh, when uh, making the VTOL or RTOL takeoff so that we don't have to uh, really use the feet, the pedals. And if we press it twice, uh, we get the GTC-8 mode on, uh, which is the hover mode. So the helicopter will keep its position in a hover, but it doesn't affect to the altitude. So we have to separately uh, uh, press CRHT from here, uh, autopilot control panel. Uh, or altitude button so it will keep the altitude uh, barometric altitude or uh, height uh, with the help of a uh, radio altimeter but usually we use the collective to uh, maintain the right altitude or height okay and then we have this button here it is auto autopilot and back up uh, SAS off for from uh, with one press we get the autopilot one and two off and then second press uh, we get the uh, this uh, autopilot back up off and same can be done from here uh, from the autopilot control panel and then we have two red buttons here 
which are inactive this one and this one maybe i think they are made for some other search and rescue helicopters or military versions or something and then we have this beep trim uh, here you can adjust the heading and indicated airspeed for example if they are uh, uh, activated from for the autopilot or if you are flying manually you can be trim the uh, trims so that uh, uh, for example flying in level flight i uh, beep to the left uh, the trims are taking the helicopter um, to bank left and vice versa uh, i think everything was now explained well we have this this is not a missile missile a button uh, the first stage opens the intercom the uh, connection between backseat guys and us if uh, it is not on and the second stage opens the um, aviation radio line to the frequency that has been uh, chosen from either of these uh, Garmin's. I think it was every three, everything from here. Autopilot upper modes, off trim release, beep trim, TTCH, TAVS mute, autopilot, and autopilot, and backup sus on off. Yeah, it was everything. And then we'll uh go to collective there's also a few inactive buttons here for example this button i don't know what it is for maybe cable cable uh cutting if the helicopter has that kind of operation and here is one inactive red button and this also red button uh, i think it might be like emergency floats we don't have floats we have the uh, skits for the snow surface and the swamp soft swamp surfaces uh, which we have here in northern Finland but uh, we have trim release button also in here the collective uh, is uh, stiff without pressing this trim release if we are flying manually and we want to uh, 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 adjust the the plate uh, angle sorry my english i have to very much concentrate what i'm talking but uh, if we want to uh, uh, rise or lower lower put down the collective uh, we always have to uh, press this rim uh, trim release so it's here and then we have here here, uh, this pinky button here, uh, where can I show it better? Here, it's the uh, windscreen uh, wiper button. And then we have uh, here, uh, the thumb button is for go around button. Uh, when pressing this in any stage of the flight, the helicopter uh, will start climbing and accelerate and keeping the winds level a uh, wing wings level sorry the yeah sort of wings level even if we don't have wings here uh, it is used for example um, in mist approach during uh, ifr landings if, if we don't if we don't get the landing lights uh the, or, or the uh, runway lights or anything visible before the um, minimum altitude then uh, these two were inactive and then we can switch if we want to use with this collective a uh, search light uh, search light is also uh, something you are able to turn remotely here or i can choose to use uh, the high intensity searchlight Trakka, which is this one here. It's very powerful.
and usually we uh, talk to each other with the uh, with the uh, PIC the uh, captain uh, who, who is using uh, which which one of these and then uh, if we are using the uh, truck high intensity searchlight you can uh, zoom and make the uh, light beam uh, wider and more narrow and here you you can put the searchlight on and landing light on and then a landing light on and searchlight off from the same button and from here you can press like you can see here for uh, infrared light or visible light we are using uh, basically uh, visible light all the time and you can turn either either the searchlight or uh, traka whichever is uh, choose from here and then we have beep trim which makes the same uh, adjustments to the trim in the case of manual flying we can uh, from here a uh, beep uh, the collective up or down as we wish and then if we are in the hover mode gtch we can uh, 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 adjust here also the direction of the helicopter from the beep room and then these are all done and if i press here i can stow uh, the light which is chosen here so that it centers the light and then we use separately this kind of uh, remote control for the truck it's now in its attachment and i don't want to take it totally off because it's a little bit hard to put back on or back to its position and there then uh, here in in the in index finger we have uh, one engine in operative uh, so OAI situation uh, this uh, high low position I have to concentrate, how do I say it in English? Uh, anyway, if we get uh, during the takeoff in a VTOL or RTOL takeoff, for example, uh, OAI situation, so one of the engines uh, shuts down, uh, we get limited power from only the one, one uh, engine. And then uh, we have 30 seconds to use certain amount of power from that one engine. And after that, we have to use the uh, two minutes power setting. And uh, if we come to the end of this two minute uh, time, we have to lower the a collective to get to the maximum continuous power mcp power so with this button here uh, when the one engine fails uh, it automatically gives us all, all the power the one uh, 30 second second seconds power and after this or before this 30 seconds has gone we can press this button here so it automatically uh, uh, makes so that uh, the engine uh, takes only the two minute power out from the engine and then you have to uh, take care of uh, this two minutes uh, uh, time by yourself so all of these buttons are done and this was the go around button pinky button was the wiper and then trim release in here and yeah it's done sorry about my laggish english uh, i really don't have all the words i would like to have 
uh, to make things fluently, but I hope that this small uh, package of information helps someone in, in your hobby. Uh, you can, of course, uh, program or bind uh, all of these buttons uh, also in your HPG uh, Airbus H145 helicopter. If you have uh, that kind of controls or joystick uh, that has lots of buttons. And let me just check. I didn't forget anything. And as said, many of these uh, operations in here are able to uh, be done from this uh, autopilot control panel. Like heading, you can uh, uh, you can adjust the heading from here and put the altitude on and off and altitude acquired alt a from here and indicated airspeed you can set it on from here and then uh, adjust it from here and also adjust the uh, height from here and vertical speed on and then setting and using this butterfly button here you can get flight path angle um, for this button and track to this button but we usually use this one uh, in uh, in certain uh, approaches IFR approaches we use the flight path angle if we don't if we like practice something other than ILS or RNB precision approaches but I'll leave it like this um, that was pretty much the deal this time. Please ask me if you want to know something similar from the helicopter, some kind of buttons or operations here. Cheers, bye.